Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. I'm here with another speed build. Uh, this one is kind of over the water so I called it River's Edge. Uh, this is Bree Miles. Uh, I'm doing the layout here. It took a while to get it. It took a while to get the roof to look the way I wanted it to look so it it was a challenge for me and I really enjoyed it though. I liked how it turned out. Uh, those columns, I, I removed them later. They don't stay. I actually removed them twice before I found out what I wanted to keep uh, and what I wanted to delete. So I'm trying to do the water now and I've done this like 10 times before I ever got the halfway to where I wanted it to look like. So of what I wanted it to look like. Um, I'm fussing with the roof again here. Messing with the roof. I tried to make me a little patio thing back here. I wound up doing it a little different than what it looks now. So this ain't going to stay the same. Um. Uh, but it turned out nice what I did finish it up to be and I wanted it to, like to, the height of the walls I wanted them the second height but you know you just can't find one foot in outdoors for second height, height walls I hate that I guess I need to go through and make some for, for I'd give anything if EA would just make us some doors that matched the one foot note on them that would match the actual walls. I'd like to have a single foot with uh, that would have the wall height, the right correct wall height would be nice. I'm having to add on here in order to get the windows to fit. I wanted those windows there so this really turned out really pretty. So this is like my second YouTube video on a speed build. Uh, I really enjoyed how how this turned out. It it was amazing. It took me like about probably about five or six hours to build it on and off. I just kind of worked on it and left it and came back and left it. I think it takes longer to create the video than it does the actual build. There's the other columns that I found, but I didn't leave them either. I found something else newer. I'm doing a little bit of the kitchen early. I just wanted to make sure that I'd have a room for it without having to go another layer, another level. Um, I made that little island out there in the water, but it doesn't stay. It changes, and I move it over to the side. I'm making me a little walk area here to them stairs. This area turned out neat. I really didn't know how I was going to go about doing it, but I finally tied it all in with the decking that I'm fixing to make. And it really turned out pretty well, I thought. So I just, when I build, I just run here and there. and So it's kind of hard to do a speed build because I'm like all over the place <laughs> with them. It's like I run here and do something, then I go back and do something else somewhere else. So try to cut a lot of that out but sometimes it gets it gets in there it sneaks in me going running around in places doing things I was trying to pick me a good watercolor so I, I finally found this one here and I stuck with it I thought about doing a muggy look water like a swamp looking color but it just didn't match the house very well so with this. I love what we can do with these little makeshift steps. So some of these columns, some of those uh, makeshift columns, I actually had to redo them in order for the sims to get around in it. Here is the deck that I was talking about building. It gets a little bigger and a little wider. And I actually attach it to the little, the little thing coming in there actually attach it to it so it goes right out to the steps so it works pretty good 
So those makeshift columns that I were talking about, like the boulders or whatever they call them, ruins, um, I actually had to move a few of them around in order to get the sim to walk places. Like she wasn't walking out on that ledge uh, until I moved the boulders around. I couldn't get her to fish or anything. So I moved them around and yay, it worked. It has been play tested, everything works in it. It's awesome. Here, there I tied the deck in with that walkway, so that really turned out pretty. So I made me like a little sand beach here. It really turned out neat. I was worried that the fish fishing spot wouldn't work, but it did. I didn't see any on the outside of the bank, so hopefully they wasn't something none that got out when I placed the little fishing thing. Those bolters there, I had to turn around too in order for the fish to uh, the fishing spot to work. There's where I'm moving the little island. I'm moving it out on the side. It really turned out pretty. I had to work with it for a bit, but. I finally got it the way I wanted it to look. It turned out pretty good. And those boulders, I think they all went in place good. And the sim can climb up there and sit and whatever. But So you can actually swim in this. It's a pool all the way around it. And you can actually fish in it too. So... That works pretty good. And I put sand around that too. I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, kind of like a little sandy beach. I, the palm tree doesn't stay. I move the trees here. They don't stay. I find an actual better tree that kind of suits the house. But still kind of gives us a little beachy feel without the palm tree. So that worked pretty good. So I have started like uploading some Let's Plays. Uh, I've been doing the Dine Out. Let's Play Dine Out. Uh, I love that expansion. It is epic. Um, so I've got like two already up on YouTube. So if you want to check them out, you can run over to my channel and check them out. Uh, I've got two, part two up, part one and part two up. Uh, as soon as I get this speed build uploaded, I'm going to upload part 3. I already have it finished. I'm just waiting to edit it just a little bit on the end. And then I'll have it ready too. Those trees don't stay there. I actually add a water fountain here. Like a little water shootout spout thing. And I actually came back and moved the trees. Here I'm adding the little water spouts. I set a little neat... Oh, yeah, a little, a little tub in there and then let the water run in it. It looked pretty good. Looked pretty good. Some of the trees stay, some of them don't. Here I moved that tree. I just moved that tree away and I moved that one there too. Actually make flowers there. So I wanted it to be like a, a place where the sim could actually get in and out of the pool but not actually like get in and out of the pool and run to other places so uh, I left some little areas she could get in and out just top in and out she uses all the areas well though so that's pretty good yeah I set another tree there I think yeah it was a different kind of tree so this tree stayed I wanted to put a little red in there with some yellow and and then I found those little orange flowers and I thought yeah I'm going to use those for sure. So the red and the orange and the white and a little bit of purple or lilac is what I came up with. Maybe a orange-ish. So that looked really neat there so and I set, an, I set like three of these makeshift steps. And I put a little character on top of him. Made him look like he was sitting there thinking. Awesome. An awesome move for me. So I like moving objects. So I like 
go through the thing and see what they look like. I spend a lot of time just seeing what stuff looks like, so all of that gets cut out in the finished product, though. All of my fumbles and mess ups. Here's the other fishing hole on this side, and it works really good, too. I put a bird feeder up too towards the end of the video and uh, I had the sim to go over and fill it up but no birds came I don't know why but she did fill it up so she could get to it so I don't know why the birds didn't come so maybe they will for you if you play in it so I'm thinking in my uh, my uh, Let's Play, my Dine Out Let's Play. I'm thinking about actually moving out of the house that I'm living in now and actually moving into this house. I'm thinking. I may not do it, but I think I may. So, here's another one of those makeshift steps. Add me a little character there to sit on it. So here's another spot for her to get in and out, and she does get in and out while I was play testing it. This one actually is it's a little bit longer than the 10 minutes but I was able to get the whole build in this one so that was epic. Uh, I was really I was really glad I could get the whole build in it. So I'm adding my lights here, and I love doing the little ship in the water. That was so neat, and the sim will swim around it, so that's pretty neat too. So I put the grill there. And my sim was hungry as soon as I loaded her in the lot. They're always starved to death. So I sent her back there to cook. And she set the grill on fire. She burned it up. And the little gas tank that I had set inside of it blowed up. She was on fire. I had to dip her in the pool. Good thing there's water all the way around the house. Is all I can say. Because she would have died if they hadn't been. She tried to burn the place down. I'm doing the inside now, and it turned out really pretty. Uh, I was a little tight on an area for the kitchen table to sit, so I actually had to redo the living room a little bit in order to get the kitchen table to sit in there, uh, but it looks really neat. So I set it up like this here, and it was really pretty, but then I had to make room for the kitchen table, so I had to redo all that little spot there. So. It's all redone. So I'm putting my rugs down for the kitchen. So see, I run back outside and start building, so... Here is what I finally decided on the outside for the columns. I went with this and it looked really neat, I thought. I kind of turned those around at the, towards the end. So making me a little makeshift sink out here to clean the fish on. When you catch them, I just add a little moves here and there just to kind of make it look lived in. And I did set a dining table like outside there for you to be able to sit on just in case the one inside didn't work. But I play test it here. I change it every, everything around for the in order to get the 
little table to work. So it, did, it still turned out pretty neat, I thought. So I just snugged it up against that and put the flower over there and deleted the coffee table. It turned out pretty good. So I'm setting everything in here. Just some little moves. Here are the pictures to the house in Joey uh, River's Edge. say thank you to everyone that has watched it. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the follows. Um, I hope you all like what I'm doing with my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, uh, hit that like button, please. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it.